Mars has around the same tilt as Earth, and springtime means storms. The Martian surface vanishes under a cloud of raging dust particles. On Earth, we get dust storms too. They can be devastating, swallowing entire cities. July 5th, 2011, Arizona. An unstoppable 5,000 foot high wall of dust smashes into Phoenix. Day turns to night. Thousands of tons of dust settle over the city. But the disaster stays in one place. Mars's dust storms can engulf the entire planet. On Mars, when dust gets kicked up once, it lands, it can get kicked up again and again. The dust is reusable. On the Earth, when dust gets kicked up and then finally settles out, it's probably going to settle out into the ocean where it's gone for good. There's nowhere on Mars where there isn't ready dust and sand to add to that storm. So these storm systems can kick up and last weeks or even months. Mars's incredibly dry atmosphere contributes to the storm's size and power. In the case of the Earth, dust that gets under the, up into the atmosphere is rapidly washed out by the rain and gets into the, into the ocean. In the case of Mars, there's no comparable rain to wash the dust out. So once the dust gets into the atmosphere, it just sits there until the particles by themselves are able to slowly settle out. A lack of rain allows Mars's dust storms to cover the planet. But dust storms on Mars can be equally spectacular on a much smaller scale. NASA rovers captured these extraordinary images. Dust devils sucking up fine dry iron oxide dust. The biggest dust devils can reach six miles into the sky. They pump fine particles high into Mars's atmosphere, creating a haze of dust that may help control the planet's dry climate and lead to a planet-wide megastorm. Even on Mars, dust storms this big are rare. Astronomers have detected just 10 in the last 100 years. What the ancient astronomers mistook for life was a megastorm. 